What's up guys, no fishing today. I'm gonna talk about knots today and what knots not to tie. I would not not do that if I was not doing a knot video. That didn't make sense. But there's a big controversy about fishing knots, especially when it comes to lines like braided line and fluorocarbon. And people make it really complicated and anybody that's watched my videos know that I like to keep things uncomplicated. So, I'm going to go over the three knots that I think are the best knots to tie when bass fishing for fluorocarbon, braid, and monofilament. So stay tuned and watch. Here's knot number one, the Palomar knot. Most of you guys probably already know about the Palomar knot, know how to tie it, but for those of you who don't, I'm going to show you. It's very simple. It's foolproof, it doesn't slip, and it's good for braid, it's good for monofilament, and it's good for fluorocarbon. This is where the controversy starts because the loads of people will tell you do not use a Palomar knot for fluorocarbon. I use it every single day if I'm using fluorocarbon, and it's fine. I've had 10, 11, and 12 pound bass caught with fluorocarbon tied to the hook with a Palomar knot, and it works great. You're going to start out by doubling the line. A lot of people I've noticed will double the line and put a big crimp in their line right there to push it through the eye. It's much easier if you stick the line through than just come back the same way you came out. Now we have our loop. Tie an overhand knot or a granny knot and pull it semi tight. Just like that, you're left over with your loop. This could be a crankbait, a jerkbait, a spinnerbait, anything. Um, obviously, if it's a longer bait, you need a longer loop. Swing it all the way over to make sure it comes over the eye. Pull it halfway tight, like that, using the tag end and the main line. Then I wet it and cinch it down. Using Now, there's a perfect, floor, uh, perfect knot for fluorocarbon, braided line, and monofilament. It's the best knot to tie. Don't worry about all of those other knots. It takes too much time to learn too many knots. You don't spend enough time fishing. Cut your tag in uh, off nice and short. The Palomar knot works for all of them. Trust me, I do it all the time. That's how I do it. Got it? On to the next one. The second of the three knots that I consider the best knots for bass fishing, and the only knots you need to know, is the double uni knot. I use this when I'm tying a braided line to a fluorocarbon or monofilament leader. It's a very simple knot. You're going to cross your lines together, the tag ends of them. I always start with the uh, fluorocarbon or monofilament leader side. Pinch the line right there, make a loop like this. See, I have that loop. You're gonna take the tag end and wrap it five times. One, two, three. Come on. Four. Teeth help. And, geez Louise, five. Now, I have that, I'm gonna pull that semi-tight, wet it like that. Now you have a uni knot. If you pull on it, it's going to come apart. Now you go to the other side, the braided side. It's just easier to do the, the fluorocarbon or monofilament side first. Same deal here. Make a loop. One, two, three, four, five. Pull that one semi-tight. Wet the line in between. and cinch them down. The braided side is going to pull itself tight. Once you get to right about there where it's three quarters of the way tight, I like to grab a hold of the fluorocarbon in and cinch it with my teeth and pull. That right there is a great knot for tying braided line to a fluorocarbon or monofilament leader. That's the double uni knot. And then obviously cut off your tag ends. I use this all the time when we're fishing in clear water, um, fishing a shaky head when I'm out of state, 
Um, a lot of times when we're shiner fishing, a lot of my customers fishing with live bait, the customers that don't know how to use a spinner rod, if we're in clear water like at the Butler chain, all my spinner rods have 15 to 20 pound braid line on them and I will tie a leader off before I tie in the live bait hook. There's your finished product. Not gonna break. That's the second of the three best fishing knots I know for bass fishing. On to the third one. And the third and final knot, and you don't even have to know this knot, but if I did a video on the best knots to tie for bass fishing, and I left this one out, especially being from Florida where we do all this flipping and punching, if I didn't talk about this knot, I'd be called out and ridiculed and criticized. So here's the knot I use when I'm tying big 65 pound braided line to my big heavy duty punching flipping hooks. I call it the, it's the Snell knot. You're gonna go through on the hook side, the sharp side, not this back side, the hook side. Go through, bring down a few inches, eight or 10 inches. I'll grab the line down here on the shaft of the hook. Hope you guys can see this. Then I come up here, right above the little bait keeper. I'll go one, two, three, four, five. You have your tag in now. I'm holding a loop right there. See that little loop? I come back through. This, line, this knot can be a mess if you're not used to tying it. I'll come back through and stick the tag end back through that loop. Pull it tight. I'm sure Glenn Brown and some of these guys are much more efficient at tying this knot than I am because they flip a lot. Holding it and pull. Now when you cinch that down, it's cinched down pretty tight but it's going to come up against the eye right there. That is not going to come undone with braided line. Let me cut the tag end off here. The only thing with these knots, they're a pain to get off the hook. Sometimes I just throw the hook after I'm done. Now the, the, uh, the idea behind this knot is that it's coming through this way and when you set the hook because the line's coming through one side instead of straight off the top, that it's gonna make that hook pop up this way. Does it? I don't know. I don't know if that actually works. This line is very pliable. It's bendy. When that's down there like this, see how that pops like this? That way, because the line's going through that way making it pop up. Um, the concept behind this knot is that when you set the hook, it's gonna throw the hook more into the fish's mouth instead of pulling it out. I don't know if it does, but when I'm flipping or punching or whatever you wanna call it these days, if I don't have a snell knot tied just like this, I don't feel confident. When you're done with this, it's a pain in the butt to get that off of there. I'll take a little razor blade and slice it and cut it. So, Bring on the comments. Those are the three knots that I like to tie. The Palomar knot, the double uni knot, and the Snell knot only when I'm flipping or punching. Um, if you guys have any other ideas for videos, I did this video because four or five people requested that I show them the knots that I like to tie. There's a pile of knots out there. Tie the knots that you feel the most comfortable with. I like tying a Palomar knot um, when I'm using fluorocarbon because I have confidence in it. If you have more confidence in that San Diego jam knot that everybody's um, geared up about, then tie that. By all means, the best stuff you can do when you're fishing is whatever you have the most confidence in. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave me some comments and we'll see you next time. I'm gonna go catch this fish that's over here on a bed. See ya.